All right, down you get. It, well, I'm trying to put you down. Fine. All right. <laughs> we'll just go up the elevator while I I'm holding it. The last floor. Oh my god. Lieutenant, we already have the ballistics results. And? You are right, sir. Ballistics established that the bullet was fired from Mr. Fox's gun. Uh oh. You killed Colonel Harris. You bastard. Sergeant, behave. <laughs> sir, permission to execute that assassin. Permission denied. Oh. First off, we can't confirm the identity of the victim until we have the forensics report. That's right, dipshit. Second, according to policy, Mr. Fox has the right to finish his story. <laughs> All right. Mr. Fox, That's a great policy. Continue. And you better not contradict the evidence we're collecting. Uh, I, I, I won't. <laughs> yeah, I know you'll shoot me if I do, if I fuck around with that. Okay. Mr. Uh oh. Fox. Oh, and there's a medal. There's the medal I was looking for. Farewell. That's not very neighborly of you. Fuck you. What's that on your shoulder? That's personal property, Mr. Fox. Haven't your parents taught you never to steal? General X. Steal people. <laughs> Assuming it was really him, and not another hologram. Not just a hologram, okay. Are you okay. asking yourself if I'm another hologram? Well, yeah. Huh? <laughs> no, not this time. Oh good, just shoot him then. I, in the flesh. Good, then I'll... Put a bullet in my Wait, head. you were the real colonel? I don't know. Please tell me, Mr. Fox. How does one shoot that which they cannot see? I what? don't know. What the fuck? I, Do you like my new device, Mr. Fox? Oh, it's all right. Optical electronic hollow camouflage. The sure. In nanotechnology. Obviously, <sighs> it's always nano machines, isn't it? Rate, Fuck's sake. There's still a chance I may be hit. I believe dumb luck is a concept you're fond of. For so the most part. Mind, I invite you to expend some ammunition with some friends. Oh no! All right, it's General X time. The Nazi man himself. I got my rusty wire back. I better get my gun ready to go. Okay. Oh! Oh, we got some drones. Eh. Molotov cocktail. Grab it. Get all of it. No. Eh. Get that metal. You gotta become the war itself. No, fuck you. Sunglasses. I'm getting all my items back. I don't get it. Empty party. Sure. Eh. Eh. Shit. No. Ooh, that was close. Files. Oh wait, are they stealing my files? Is that what, what's happening? Ooh. Okay, we're all fine. Do you have many bullets well, that was easy. Box? Damn, Tony Stark's nanotech. He's doing okay. <laughs> oh dear. Pause. Wait. Pause. I gotta check the next phase. I don't wanna do this again. Okay. You got a lot of them. Uh... All right, the second phase will be a tank. This has two rockets that can shoot out of its front and a machine gun that will fire bursts of bullets in your direction. Run away from the machine gun or roll away from the rockets. You can use grenades very easily against the tank. Just tossing grenades will make quick word of the tank. And you can also get the, uh, you got to become war achievement for your troubles. All right, grenades it is. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Grenades and also... Probably need to do some healing as well, so, alright. Okay, just throw grenades. Oh! Oh, he's also gonna try and use rockets every now and then. Oh! Okay. Well, this isn't too bad. So far, so good. There we go. Well, this is kind of easy. Oh, God, okay. Still haven't taken a hit yet. Eh. Oh, it's going well. Oh. Let him shoot again. Or is he not going to? He's just going to missile now. Great. Ow. You cheat, motherfucker. Eh. There we go. You've got to become war. All right. That's an achievement. What now? <laughs> you should be low on ammo by now. Uh, I'm all right. It's time to comfortably finish you. Oh, no. By the way, I'm sure you may have noticed by now. While you were distracted with my friends, I took the liberty to follow you around and recover some of my stolen property. Oh, yeah, I noticed that. So, yeah, I'm missing some shit. <laughs> All right, the third phase can be challenging. The boss will turn invisible. You'll see him fire shots from a random location. You have to throw an electromagnetic grenade at him to make him visible and quickly switch to your gun. You should be able to hit him with 
three shots before he disappears again. General X will also steal all of your first aid kits to heal himself every time you hit him. The fastest way to get through this is to willingly get hit and heal yourself um, until you're out of first aid kits. You'll enter some dialogue where he stabs you with your rusty wire so you'll slowly bleed to death too. Now, the clock is on. Fight the rest of the fight as quickly as you can before you bleed out. He can hit you with his bullets just by pure luck if he spawns near you, but his bullets don't deal much damage. Anyway, just make sure you stun him and shoot him three times every time he appears whenever he starts shooting until you defeat him. Okay, so... Okay, so let's see. Uh, the fastest way to get through him is to willingly get hit to heal yourself until you're out of first aid kits. That seems to be the wisest thing to do. And then I use grenades. Can I map these to left and right, I wonder? Uh, I can. Here we go. Guns and grenades. Okay, I can do that. Okay, I'm gonna get myself hurt, I guess. Okay, go on, hit me. There we go. Um, not taking any damage, so that's interesting. Um. Okay. Oh, and I can't aim these things worth shit. I'm in trouble. Oh, oh, there we go. I finally took a hit. Um. There we go. Heal that up. There we go. So sometimes I don't take any damage. That's a bit strange. Sure. Yeah, that's all right. Just keep healing up. Okay. Just keep healing up. Try not to bleed too much as well. Because he's going to take all my shit, isn't he, really, in the end? There we go. And there's the last heal. So, switch to this. Oh, there we go. And then... Oh, he disappears real quick. Okay, I can do this, though. Gonna run out of grenades if I'm not careful, though. Oh, you sneaky bastard. All right, but I can totally do this, though. There we go. Oh. There we go. Oh, that's, that's, yeah, that's handy. It's already down to half his health. Okay. Oh. Oh, he's dead. Fuck you. All right. Oh, it's not over yet. I have... Underestimated you, Mr. Fox. So it seems. Boss defeated. Boss defeated. <laughs> hey! Well, that was easy enough. Uh, I'll take all of this. Oh, a key. All right, helicopter key. What are you waiting for? Finish me. No. Die without paying for your crimes. <laughs> no way. You'll pay for them and then die. So they condemn you and lock you in a cell to rot for the rest of your life. Oh, right. I see. Tell me, Mr. Fox. Is it not over yet? Take me if you can't move. What? Oh. Oh? You're so predictable. Uh-oh. I knew you wouldn't kill me or let me die. Just like all of my other subordinates. They oh. consistently led you directly into my trap, Mr. Oh, Fox. Oh, no. It was all a plot. Honestly, I hope you were going to surprise me again. <laughs> this sucks. Spark in the, basement. the bulletproof vest sucks up some damage. You skipped the bleeding phase. Yeah, I noticed the that. Way, What's going on there? Volunteering to test my new paralyzer. The discharge Where did I skip the bleeding the phase? Oh, it's the bulletproof vest that blocks some shots. Oh, that explains everything now. <laughs> you should have killed me when you had the chance. See you never, Mr. Fox. Fuck you. Er. Oh. Yeah, Thank Colonel. Never, General X. <laughs> hey. And everything was fine. Right, son. Uh, 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 Don't worry. <laughs> Look at all the, the bullet casings everywhere. This will wear off soon, but it's not prudent to stay here. Come hmm. on, stand up, Fox. I'll help you walk. Okey doke. Yeah, it's your turn to carry me around. I think. Thank God we got the key card. Let's go home. Oh boy. Well, that's what I call mission accomplished. Stage complete. Experience gained? Nothing. Secrets won. And that's a perfection. Oh my goodness. Colonel we did it. Escape complete. Achievement helicopter. unlocked. A few minutes later, when I regained my motor skills, hmm. we took off. Oh. Lieutenant, we have the forensic report of the carbonized corpse. Oh my god. Back to the sergeant. Dismissed. Yes, sir. 
Looks like we can finally prove that Mr. Fox has been lying. Oh, no. Sergeant. Excellent! Excellent! Definitely excellent. <laughs> Thank you for the Bill and Ted. I haven't heard it in years. I love Alan it. Harris, disproving his identity. Oh. What? Then he's not the colonel. Oh. Of course not. I told you, Sergeant. Oh. Care to explain this, Mr. Fox? Oh. Are you going to tell us that he was tortured on a rack until it stretched him three inches? That would be ridiculous. He's not Colonel Harris. I never said he was. Well, you what? You just told us that you both flew away in that helicopter. And we did. I told you we escaped together, but never said that corpse was Colonel Harris. You fucking idiot. In fact, I have no idea who it is. Are you sure you found it in the helicopter? Huh. Did you plan it yourselves to incriminate me? Like some dirty cops? Huh. How dare you? Oh, enough no. games, Mr. Fox, enough. We'll find out who you are and then we'll execute you. Oh, bugger. What now? <laughs> what the hell is happening in here? It's Colonel. Colonel in the room? Salute. At ease. I can't salute. Colonel I'm in handcuffs. Harris, you, you're alive. Sir, we, we thought you passed away. As you can see, Lieutenant, I'm alive and kicking. Why is this man handcuffed? We were interrogating him. He's a spy that we captured, sir. A spy? Are you pulling my leg? Huh. He's a civilian who was imprisoned for a crime he didn't commit. Thank you. He's also the man that time somebody said that except me. And freed me from the ex army base, but also he found classified information about Operation Jericho. Oh, yeah, that I did that too. Essential in stopping the ex army. For goodness sakes, that man's a fucking hero. <laughs> Release him immediately. Hooray. Yes, sir. I want a medal Did and a waifu. Your heroic feet, Fox? I was at when we entered the helicopter, Colonel. But it looks like they found a corpse in the helicopter. <laughs> Fox, I don't know who he is. They who is he it? He has a bullet in his head, and it came from my gun. But I haven't killed anyone. Uh oh. That corpse was General X. I killed him with your gun myself. Don't you right, remember? but why was he on the helicopter? Why was he on See, You never, General X. Later, while you were regaining your senses inside the helicopter, I retrieved General X's corpse and dragged it to the helicopter's aft. What that for? bastard was heavy. <laughs> In the air. You know what happened. Hurry up, Fox. They're following us. Don't rush me, Colonel. I'm getting used to the controls. <laughs> this piece of junk has levers and buttons everywhere. <laughs> this is nothing panic. like the simulation. I think we'll be able to reach Allied territory before they catch up. Oh, good. Then I'll call the cavalry. Huh? Charlie Alpha, Charlie Alpha, five four four three eight. Do you copy? That's quite a number. Damn it! This radio isn't working. Fucking piece of shit. Well, what do we do now then? Don't worry, Colonel. As soon as we reach Allied territory, they'll stop pursuing us. Okay. Don't worry. I hope so. Son, with no radio, when this fully armed piece of Soviet junk pings their radar. Oh. The yeah, that's a bit of a problem. We're in a commie copter. Fuck. So we'll be shot at if we keep going, or we'll be shot at when we turn around. Oh boy. Primitive. We're just gonna get shot at all day. We'll abandon the helicopter as soon as we cross the border. Righty ho. Search for the parachutes. But jumping would still be risky in this jungle terrain. Hmm. You have them, Colonel? We're nearly there. There's only one, Fox. You jump and deliver the documents to the allies. <laughs> Are you insane, Colonel? That's they not a good idea. Me. That is you not a good idea. Pilot this junk. <laughs> Roger, what's our clearance, Clarence? <laughs> Roger, Roger. What's our clearance, Clarence? Take this ring. Show it to them. The ring of power? Oh no, anything but that. Fuck, it reeks of shit. <laughs> it sounds, it smells like Uranus, Colonel. How do you know what the Colonel's anus smells like? Uh, that's classified, sir. Come on, son, put on the parachute. Colonel. You need to jump and tell them everything yourself. We hmm. argued about who had to jump, but I had to admit that Mr. Fox had one convincing argument. Hmm. Fox, what are you waiting for? Hurry up, son. We are running out of time. Hmm. For heaven's sake, put on the parachute. But... You... 
fuck, fuck you. But <laughs> I just punched him. Convince Next Colonel Harris by punching him. Up, hanging uh, from a parachute tangled to a tree. That was the very nice. The farm who spotted me arrived a few minutes later. Oh, God. Getting my wounds and offering me food. He was so kind as to bring me here to the base. Oh. The lieutenant and the sergeant were shocked and immediately apologized. <laughs> a few days later, I got him. Yeah. With two medals. Hooray, I are hero. For rescuing an MIA military colonel and recovering intelligence on Operation Jericho. What about Dr. I, Waifu? Colonel Alan Harris. Or for that matter, what about uh, that dickhead who betrayed me? Sitting in the cell the whole time. I should never have trusted a robot. <laughs> that metal really exists? It didn't. They had to invent it, <laughs> as they had nothing that they could provide for a civilian. That'll do. They're also awarded the Gandhi Medal of the National Idiot. Fantastic. National Idiot? Well, I received it because I didn't kill any enemies at all during the escape. Yeah. As you know, <laughs> Just like Gandhi wouldn't. Killing is wrong. Unless it was Gandhi well, and Gandhi 2, the that. movie. So he kills a lot of people in that one. The Allies could find and sink every related submarine. Yay! The military base, docks, and Omega building were the target of a large operation. I Everyone hope they weren't nuclear subs. I don't want that material on the sea floor. Robert the paparazzi. Oh hey, Robert was okay after all. Surprise! He was an okay the two sort. Doctors and their two fathers dedicated themselves to finding a cure for cancer using nanonuclear weapons. Yay. Wasn't Best girl doctor? is doing things. That's what they wanted us to believe. <laughs> there were two doctors. The captain of that boat retired with my fifty million dollars. <laughs> That's right, I gave him so much money. But he died of gonorrhea the week. The week after. after. Oh, Seriously? he was your neighbor. No. But he would oh. have deserved it. <laughs> oh no, he didn't die of gonorrhea. He's alright. Mike? The one I found hammered and whose leave I obtained. Oh, yeah? Well, he could finally visit his daughter for her birthday. Hey, happy lolly. Hello. <laughs> I'm drunk. Hooray. And I went back to my old life as a smuggler. Good the times. End. Question mark. <laughs> wow. Jesse, that's the most incredible story ever told. My God, you have an amazing imagination. You should be a video game writer. <laughs> Fuck you. You don't believe me. Not a word. Thank you very much, Miss Incredulous. I hate my wife. <laughs> hey, who are those guys? Uh oh. Must be an improvised patrol. Don't say a word if they don't ask you anything. Right here. How's it going, boys? Good morning. May I see your passports, please? Good morning. Here you are. Oh boy. I hope this is not going to be a disaster. Jesse Fox. Uh, yeah, that's me. Yeah. Holy Jesus, I can't believe it. Hey, Jimmy, who is that guy? <laughs> Blistering barnacles. Who be putting olives in me martini? <laughs> Blistering barnacles. This gonorrhea is gonna put me in the grave, Tintin. I really admire you, Fox. Oh God. Thanks, oh God. That's that's one of the lost episodes. <laughs> Jose, is, Jose was having an off day that <laughs> that afternoon. He was just like, oh, fuck it. <laughs> Captain Haddock gets gonorrhea. <laughs> Are you okay? Oh, dear. You're very quiet. Oh, no, you have to believe me, waifu. Stop the car. Oh. What? Oh, God, what's going to happen now? Oh. What's up? What's happening? Then it's true. It's all true. Now do you believe me? <laughs> I've done all these great things. What? Kiss me now. Yay! <laughs> all you have to do is just do incredible things and women will love you forever. Yay! Game done! Fast scroll. Fuck it. You, you, you did great, everybody. You did great. This game is fantastic and it's fucking nearly 6.30. Well, it's an hour and a half over, but that's alright. Still, enjoyable. Oh my god. Allied Interrogation Officer Corey Candray. I don't know, I think it sounds an awful lot like Corey Cruz, <laughs> but still. Uh, no other voices I recognize, but still. There's some peoples. There we go, there's some peoples that would thing. Oh my god, and voices we didn't hear. 
Let's... Oh, versus evil team. Oh, I thought maybe there was a co-op. No, there's no versus mode. And if there was, I'm not doing it today. Yeah, you don't have to do a stream on Thursday to finish this. Special thanks to you for playing Unmetal. It was a reasonably good time. And then the sequel is going to involve my son. This is Colonel Alan Harris. I don't know. Huh. Yesterday I met that guy in a bar. He was nice. Oh. I told him that I was going to slog as a guard here today. Oh. And he said if I pretended he rescued the colonel and prevented nuclear attacks when he drove by, oh. that he'd give me a hundred bucks. A hundred bucks for saying four <laughs> sentences. Can you believe it? Need an exterior shot of the car bouncing up and down GTA style, I know. Good That's missing. Here you are. Oh, a hundred dollars. been the easiest one hundred bucks ever. Fuck. People make up stupid shit just to score. <laughs> yeah, dude. Well, <laughs> I bribed them, but it's fine. So <laughs> the whole game was a lie. <laughs> the whole fucking game is a lie, probably. Oh, boy. And there you go. There's Unmetal. A thing. And we did it. <laughs> oh, well, anything to get a waifu, I guess. Sure. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> that was unmetal. Holy shit. A thing that exists and I'm pretty happy in the end that it does. Where's my music? 